Hey guys, Dempsey here, and today I wanted to try something a little bit different. So, as some of you may have noticed, over the past few months, I've been uploading interviews related to some of the projects that I've been reviewing on this channel. However, there is just one project that I have not had the time to sit down, write, and record a review for, and that is Shadow and Bone. Now, make no mistake, I actually did enjoy the series. It's just like I said, I have no time. Between my personal life and my personal responsibilities, my full-time job, because, you know, this isn't my full-time job, and even other videos that I've already recorded but just haven't had the time to edit, I don't think I'm going to be able to get to it for the foreseeable future. Maybe one day, you know, I hope to return and make a more formal video telling you how I feel, uh, but like I said, I just don't think it's going to happen, at least not right now. Now, even though I won't be reviewing the series' this first season, I was still very fortunate enough to speak with the cast, and that brings me as to the reason why I'm making this video. I have been sitting on these interviews for nearly two months, and rather than continuing to sit on them, I thought it'd be fun to just finally share them with you. Um, one, because I had a blast doing them, and two, because I think that they do a really good job at giving you a sense of who these people are off screen. And I think in some cases, the contrast between uh, the actor and the character is going to be hilarious, uh, to say the least. Now, for anybody wondering what I still think about the series as a whole, real quick, off the top of my head, I'll tell you uh, that I thought it was fun. I, uh, I think it gave off some really great big budget blockbuster energy, especially the sequences in the fold. Um, and I, I don't know, I think at a time where it feels like the well for why a novel adaptations is run dry, this series surprisingly and refreshingly feels like a step in the right direction for the genre. Uh, truthfully, I, I think it could be Netflix's Game of Thrones. Uh, it has that potential in my opinion. Uh, and I know some people will hear that and say, whoa, 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 what? What about The Witcher? The Witcher has Henry Cavill anchoring it. This, uh, I mean, aside from Ben Barnes, Everybody else in this was relatively unknown to me, uh, and I do hope that changes in the future because they are all great. But I do not want to waste any more of your time, so please let me know what you think about these interviews down below. And uh, yeah, until next time, enjoy. For sure, thank you. First and foremost, it's a pleasure to be speaking to you all. Um, I saw the show, really enjoyed it. I've been telling everybody I've spoken to so far that it's given me some major Game of Thrones vibes. Um, you guys wow. probably saw that. When, I'm pretty sure it's something that you saw when you read the script, how you have all these different characters from all these different walks of life coming together for this grand purpose. And that is um, all because of you, Miss May Lee. Uh, and you, you're, you're, <laughs> sun summoning powers so i have to ask you uh between this and uh, edgar wright's last night in soho that comes out later this year you have quite a big year for you uh so congratulations but um thank you uh, i can imagine, i mean working with edgar wright is working with edgar wright i mean that's you know you you say yes but what drew you to <laughs> this project specifically well I'm, i was so excited it, it came through from my agents with a bunch of other auditions and and it was the only one that um specifically said they're looking for a half Asian half white actress and I thought oh I rarely get to go up for those roles so that's really really exciting um and I hadn't read the Shadow and Bone trilogy yet but I looked up online and I could just see how how popular they were and I saw the fan art and um and I remember thinking oh wow this is this is quite a big deal and then reading the scripts and seeing they're written by Eric Heiser who um you know I was a huge fan of after arrival in 2016 I absolutely loved that film so I was just like, this is going to be really, really cool. Um, so I was yeah, over the moon when I got the part and started to meet everyone. And yeah, it's just, it, it exceeded my expectations massively. And I'm so proud of it. And now um, I'm, I'm, I want to tell everybody that I speak to today. The show gives me some real, and I'm pretty sure you guys are aware of it, some Game of Thrones vibes, especially with mm. the way that you guys are all scattered and you guys all end up yeah. kind of together by the very end. Mm -hmm. So uh, was that something that uh, that you that drew you guys to the project that you guys could, I would love to hear from each of you individually. I mean, originally um, we I... didn't know. Go on. But you go, 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 go. Okay, well, yeah, because the, the book series is separate. Um, the, 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 the Shadow and Bone books where Alina and Mal and uh, Kerrigan kind of operate are in one series and we're in another, and they're in the same world, but happen at different times. So we have the same questions that all the book fans have going in, which is, how's that gonna work exactly? How's that gonna 
meet and we were getting scripts as we were going as we were shooting so we continually were just kind of asking and probing going hey, what's going to happen next um <laughs> and so it was a, it was a surprise for us as well yeah um I, and i think you know another exciting thing is that everything that happens with six of crows is a complete prequel to um to the actual six of crows uh, books and uh, the way eric has our showrunner has merged the two stories together and just created something so much more um just so much more content and it's just so wonderfully uh, interwined the two different storylines um it's really you know you get to see moments that you don't see in the book like when Inej names one of her nines uh, after Santa Elena um and that for me was just a really ex ex exciting thing yeah I think you're right it, it, I mean it definitely has some of the hallmarks of other fantasy shows you know there's the good versus evil there's light versus dark there's kind of big epic landscapes and you know warring factions but the thing that really grabbed me about Shadow and Bone the books and also the scripts is how it sort of subverts that somehow it's fancy but it's not in like medieval Europe it's in a kind of cool steampunk czarist Russia and not all of the characters are white which is really refreshing you know yes <laughs> there's, there's like, yeah. it's much more diverse and it sort of shows you what a fantasy show should be and could be now, next question is for you, Archie. Uh, you are the uh, leading man here uh, in the sense that you, but you're in the background for a lot of this. Uh, and mm. I, 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 so you are a very uh, strong supporting character. You have this very special relationship with Alina. Uh, what drew you to that character? What, had you ever played a kind of character like that before? Um, no, I hadn't. And that is what made it so exciting. I think because it's something uh, which I love seeing in in day to day life when people have a lot of heart and courage and and are just full of goodness and, and will do you know anything for people that they care about. Uh, that really spoke to me and um, yeah, that excited me and being able to portray that excited me. Um, so yeah, that was the most important thing. The most important aspect of like bringing Mouse to life was making sure that uh, the character had been injected with that heart and courage um, and love. Um, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully people see that and connect a bit and uh, and feel for Mal and uh, enjoy his journey. Your arc is literally like my favorite in the show. I know the main story is important, but <laughs> the three of you guys are fantastic. Um, and I, I particularly enjoyed how you guys go from like being um, these not not thugs but like very colorful characters on the opposite side of this world and you come together you get this plan and it's all to make money of course uh and but you guys have great chemistry and uh i like your journey across the fold and uh looking to find alina uh my question is how was it working together and w were there any scenes that were especially fun to film together I mean, where do you start? We had such a great time throughout. <laughs> I mean, we had such a great time with everyone because the three of us plus plus uh, Jesse, Ben and Archie, we were all there for the whole six months. So we all, all just kind of became a found family. We all kind of came alone and bonded together once we arrived in Budapest to shoot. And I mean, like every single day with these two was exciting, mm -hmm. whether it was like a big scene for Freddie or a big scene for Amita or one for me, it was like, oh, cool, here we go. Um, but some of the kind of more elaborate sequences like the train were always kind of exciting because we had lots of we had lots of planning lots of planning scenes of what are we going to do next and so suddenly when we had a sequence it was like oh my gosh we're doing the thing we just talked about um so yeah, yeah it was loads of fun yeah i really i like uh, the don't get me wrong uh, jesse your, your character is fantastic your arc is fantastic but i think uh the, the strongest parts of this show are just all the background characters because they kind of reinforce of like they kind of help build this world and give people a better mm -hmm. understanding of what's really going on uh and I, once again archie i think you do a fantastic job in that character uh now Thank ben you. uh i have to ask you you ben, uh, i hated you <laughs> 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 we were rubbish. <laughs> so, I have to ask. Uh, so you started off. Everybody knows you as Prince Caspian, uh, but you've you've kind of shifted away from that good guy image in the past couple of years. Uh, you were what Jigsaw and Punisher. You were a major antagonist in Westworld. But the general here is kind of the best of both. Uh, so what, what what kind of drew you to his character? I think it was interesting for me, like you said, like I started off um, uh, in those kind of like. Uh, boy to man uh kind of 
you know, finding their courage, finding their finding their voice, going after the girl, trying to kill the, the beast. Uh, roles like 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 Archie's representing in in this story with such heart for us, and um, uh, I think the last few years, you know, coming at it from from another perspective, playing, you know, I haven't really played the most powerful figure in any uh, of the stories that I've been involved with in terms of the hierarchy of this mythical world, and so it was interesting for me to be looking at, you know, Anthony Hopkins in Silence of the Lambs, or you know, those kind of characters, and feeling, can I bring that kind of stillness to um, uh, to, to, to this kind of character. And then, and then also because the books are written from Alina's perspective, can I find, can I find the humanity in this man as well, even though he does these despicable things as the series goes on, can I, can I find the places where he's a human being, where he's vulnerable and where he's warm as well? Um, and so, uh, yeah, that was the, the kind of the, the, the intrigue for me. My final question for you guys has been a pleasure speaking to you. And I'd love to hear from each of you individually. What are you guys each hoping that people take away from this show? I think personally, you know, having watched it myself, you can watch it for total escapism. If you just want to go into this rich, diverse kind of fun world with big adventures and heists and romance, you can watch it like that. But also... You can view it through a different lens and it's a comment on sort of discrimination and immigration and kind of those who fall through the cracks in society. So you can get whatever you want, basically. Watch it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think just adding adding to that, there's there's something for everyone to love. Like uh, you know, if 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 traditional fantasy isn't your thing, there are other things that we're doing in that that might attract you. If you love genre, whatever kind of genre type of film or, or show, like there's something in there for everyone, whether it's the kind of magic system or whether it's the crime element or whether it's the Western influences or the Eastern influences, there's, there's a lot going on. And I think hopefully there's, there's stuff to keep everyone enthralled. Yeah. And, you know, for me, one of the biggest attraction is, is the world of the Grisha verse. Um, in every Shadow and Bone book and duology and trilogy, there's all, you see the map of what the Grisha verse is. Um, but when you watch a show, you actually see it come to life and the grandness of it and the size of it. And it doesn't just feel like a small part um, and a new thing. It really is a whole world in itself. And um, again, going back to Freddie with escapism, you really can dig deep in there. And, it's, and that's uh, at a time like this, I, I think it's really wonderful. You know, the, the, so much of this show is about, you know, where you belong and, and you know, finding your inner strength certainly for Alina anyway and I think you know I hope that people can look inside themselves and feel like they are special and that you know they they you have this innate power that you can access and then I hope that that people could take that away from it yeah I, I think well, similarly to Jesse it is about the, the relationships and showing that heart and strength um and bravery and and just willingness to just keep keep on going and going and going that's which feels quite relevant to the state of the world at the moment um so yeah that's what i, I kind of hope people take away yeah after this after this year we've all been yeah. looking at ourselves and, and looking at what's important to us and and where we fit in you know in the world what you know how where where is our identity sitting within us and we're all kind of trying to chase away those those demons inside the fold and work through it and get to the other side and uh and so yeah i hope but but it's also you know it's such a fun show that hopefully it's fun I like those <laughs> things in and amongst the uh, in and amongst the action thank you guys so much it was a pleasure speaking to you and i know it doesn't come out for thank like another month but i wish you the best of luck with it thank you thank you so thank much you, man. and i hope everybody enjoys it just as much as i, I did thank you cheers man thank Great. you very thank much thank you so much Dempsey. bye